Okay, I've been tasked with getting this uh, overhead warehouse garage door opener in the brewery fixed, and uh, no one can remember it ever operating. So it's fun to inherit um, unknown problems. So um, the first thing that I did when I would turn this on is the, the motor would start humming and nothing would turn on the the uh pulley here for the for the motor down here the motor just would hum um, the solenoid was working and it would it would release this brake and when i did that i could i could turn the motor freely i can't do it right now because i added a a new belt it's a 4L290 belt that is recommended. But uh, so um, thinking back to a problem I had with an air conditioner, I thought, well, maybe it's the, the capacitor. So turns out there was a bad capacitor in this machine. It's a starter capacitor that requires 220 VAC to get the motor, you know, up and running. And then once it's running, then the capacitor doesn't um, isn't needed anymore. So um, the the 110 volt is enough to keep the motor running for the duration of the uh, opening or closing sequence. So I uh, changed out with another capacitor I had, um, which is kind of dirty. But um, then um, once I got that, I added a new belt. I downloaded a PDF of a LiftMaster uh, MJ5011. This was originally um, made by, I believe, Link Controls. You can see that, Link Controls. And uh, I think they were bought out or something by the company that makes LiftMaster now because the this, this is a MJ5011B2 and uh, this was originally put into service in 1992 and it still works and um, it just needed some um, tender loving care. Um, the, the manual that I downloaded, the PDF I downloaded for the MJ5011, I believe U, um, is available online. I think it's available through Chamberlain and you can just download that PDF. By putting it in Google. Um, it recommended this belt, which is 4L290, which I already noted. Um, then I went and I had to buy some chain, uh, roller chain, um, which it, the manual recommends number 48. I don't know what that means. I think that might be a lift master number for a specific roller chain through them, but I ended up buying uh, number 41 um, roller chain which fits on this this uh, cog here um, the, the drive the drive chain the, the, this is the uh, uh, initial drive um, operates from this this pulley and drives this and then that changes to the output cog which will go up to um, the spring shaft of the garage door opener, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, on this side, you have to get this lined up right because this chain drives this, this um, little shaft here, which has limit switches. And so when you hit open or close, this guy will go down to the limit switch and then shut off automatically. Check it out, right? Like that. But you have to kind of dial it in because it might not, yours might not be uh, working correctly. And um, it took me a while to figure that out. But um, yeah, so I just posted this in case someone might be having a similar issue. It all started from this motor humming, me changing the capacitor, putting a new belt on, um, buying roller chain to drive it because that was all missing, and then this limit switches weren't working. So 
Um, here is a schematic for it if you want to look at it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll kind of hover on it for a, a second. And then, uh, you know, I'll post this, and if you have questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, I'll try to answer it in some sort of timely fashion. Thanks.